NCAA qualifier as a Cal State Fullerton wrestler. He is a former two-time UFC Bantamweight champion. He is Tyler Jeffrey Dillashaw, and he is ready to add to his legacy here tonight. And for all those wrestling accomplishments, he doesn't even need to use it. He's become a great striker under Dwayne Ludwig, a guy that can beat you with kicks, a guy that can beat you with the boxing, and the footwork is something that we haven't seen in the UFC for a very long time. TJ Dillashaw is one of the greatest bantamweights of all time. And he is truly in his element on fight night. Absolutely loves the bright lights and everything that fight night entails. Another big spot for Dillashaw here tonight. TJ Dillashaw enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. Sugar Sean O'Malley, and you can argue a lot of these people in the building tonight are here to see him. You can argue, though, this is his stiffest challenge in the U.S. I believe so. I believe this is the toughest one. And I know he's fought Kyoto Young, the former champion. I know he's fought Pedro Munoz, but this opponent tonight is going to push him in ways that he has not been pushed before. Does Sean O'Malley use his fantastic footwork, his speed, and his mind to set enough traps to get the victory? I guess we'll see very shortly. Well, you all know the judges are looking for damage and moments of damage, and Sean O'Malley has been pretty good at providing those over the last several years in the UFC. Sugar Sean O'Malley set to fight TJ Dillashaw. the date for this bantamweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this Ready. one. All right, folks, here we go. Two of the best bantamweights in the world, Sugar Sean O'Malley and C.J. Dillashaw. A lot of folks believe the former champ Dillashaw is going to try to grapple here tonight. And he has that ability. T.J. Dillashaw was a college-level wrestler. But Sean O'Malley says the only reason we have not seen him use his grappling is because he hasn't had to. He is a tremendous striker, fights very well at range, and does a good job of timing his shots. Let's see if Dillashaw can solve the puzzle. There's that kick. O'Malley's able to switch his stance here. We'll see how the defense responds. Great job blocking that shot. Bang Muay Thai on full display here. Dillashaw on a really good flow here, DC. Takedown defense is there. Which is 
his stance again. That one connected. He loaded up there on that high kick. Beautifully timed and placed front kick there by the kickboxer, and that's going to allow him, I would think, to really maintain this range against the overall more well-rounded fight. I mean, yeah, he's in there with a guy that would seem to have more ways to win the fight. But if he stays at range here, kicking range, he's the best at that. So he needs to continue on this path, continue to throw those kicks straight at him and dart at him, poke at him to keep him at space so that he can fight his fight. Oh, that one landed, yep. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Huge fist being rained down by TJ Dillashaw. Back and forth we go. DC half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get it un Oh, and good position to rip off the Kimura here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. O'Malley's able to transition back to side control now. Oh, nice. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Dillashaw's in half goal. Now he's going full mount. Working from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Sean O'Malley. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Five seconds to go here in round one. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Dillashaw. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Right. Looking to land the leg kick now. Offense is on the menu tonight. Back and forth we go. 15 seconds to go. Huh. Round two straight ahead. Heading back to the corner now. Dillashaw's got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do Round it. two underway. Dillashaw gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. Oh, good kicks. Nice jab by Dillashaw. Is 
came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. That's a big strike right there. Dillashaw goes for the takedown and misses. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. Well, these gentlemen are absolutely going at it. Let's see who will have the upper hand. With the body there. Are we told you off the top that he had a reach advantage, and he really is using it. Nice punch there. Oh, wow. How about that roundhouse kick? Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence. Oh! Dillashaw's now switching his stance. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he passed to try to find that shot again. Man, how good is that? The whole thing. He's hurt bad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice level change. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. All right, so Dillashaw's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Great shot from the top position. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by O'Malley. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Down into his mouth. This is where he wants to be. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about a beautiful submission attempt here. What a tight arm bar. Man, I always think they're done. Surprise me. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. O'Malley's in half guard now. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. And now some distance as they pull apart. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Dillashaw's body really getting bruised up on that right side right now. Got to figure out a way to lower the guard. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Takedown defense holds up. Well, it's a power corner, certainly for TJ Dillashaw with Wayne Bang, Ludwig, Sam Calavita handling the diet and strength and conditioning. Dillashaw has never been more confident in his all-around game than he is as he enters the octagon here tonight. Big shot lands. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This oh, kickboxing God. looks amazing. Man. Good round. Wow. What a performance in that round. I'm no judge. I'm not sure a 10 8's even enough. Total dominance and nearly got the finish. Total dominance. Almost got the finish. Was able to hurt his opponent on multiple occasions. Didn't put him down, though. He just hurt him. But maybe, just maybe, he will find the shot that will put him down once and for all.
All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive ready, fighter, fight. but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting, starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Lead left by Dillashaw. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. All right, let's go, let's go. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that job. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it, right. and your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue, here's a tissue. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Oh, nice jab there by Dillashaw. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swell. He can't miss it, eh? And when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. O'Malley's in half court. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked, and keeping them in full guard. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Oh, gorgeous combination of strikes. O'Malley's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps they're on the bridge. by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Clean punch. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. All right, well, that blow is bosseting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight. So when you give him that blow, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Dillashaw. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get. Oh, he's going for his arm now. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. Oh, come on. That's got to be it. Well, guys, come on. Let's fight him. Whoa, submission defense. He gets out. Bonus in that moment. It looked like the fight was over. He was able to clear his head. Put the guy into the mount. Not a great position, but much better than getting his arm snapped and half from an arm bar. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Dillashaw. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting it this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling. Expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No... 
reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to be really tight again. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He showed that and proved it. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up, he was battered, he was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. Ready to fight? Ready. Go we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five minute rounds. All right, so here we go, fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Dillashaw's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. misses there with the left. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. The takedown is not there. Slip that offer from his opponent in the past. We've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that air... Just over three minutes to go. Dillashaw gets tattooed by that straight punch. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. But as you watch, he's crying, so we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within, his, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not having much confidence in his approach to this fight. Well, Malley's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Worse, no stop it. Well, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Defensively responsible, nice block. Swing and a miss with that punch by Sean O'Malley. Back and forth we go here. There's a kick. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by O'Malley. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Let's work, guys. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision, because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. Oh! Back to the feet! Oh, 
One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. All right, so Dillashaw's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. over into the leg kick. Another one. 30 seconds to go here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's hurt bad. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just brawling like crazy in that previous round. They both came with an idea that they were collecting 50000 extra dollars. And right now, I oh, he got him real good, too. He's wobbling now. Oh, big left. Ali's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Kickboxing 101. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 48 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC bantamweight champion of the world. All right, so we congratulate T.J. Dillashaw, largely dominant in getting his hand raised here tonight. Fringe Hall of Famer, I think he gets in, but a UFC win like tonight certainly is going to help the Cubs.